Okay, next example. Charlotte is a campaigner for temperance, believing that drinking alcohol is an evil habit. Michael, a representative of a wine company, presents her with figures which he claims show that wine drinking is good for marriages. So we've got a list here of different countries uh, in Europe and the average wine consumption kilograms per person per year and also the divorce rate per 1,000 inhabitants. So write Michael's claim in the form of an hypothesis test. Well, what Michael is claiming is that the more wine you drink, um, the lower the divorce rate because he's shown that wine drinking is good for marriages. So H0 would have a parent population co correlation coefficient of zero, which is there is no <coughs> correlation between wine consumption and divorce rate. And then what Michael is claiming is that the more you drink, the lower the divorce rate. So he's looking for a negative correlation. So the, the parent population will have a negative correlation coefficient. The greater the wine consumption, the lower the divorce rate. So that's his claim. So it's a one tail test again at a 5% significance level. And the first thing we need to do is to actually calculate our test coefficient. So our test correlation coefficient. R will be menu six two across and down to 2 point seven, 2 point 2 0 point 6 point 4 point 9 point 6 2 point 9 <coughs> AC option 3 and we've got a negative point 0 sorry minus 0 0.854 <coughs> so that's our calculated um, test correlation coefficient now from the tables we get a critical value so I've got 8 N is 8 at 5%, 0.6215. Five. Now you'll see that the uh, critical values on the table are all positive. So what we're actually comparing this with is the magnitude of that. We know we're looking for negative correlation. So rather than making that negative and complicating things, we make that positive. <coughs> so this is going to give us an acceptance region for HO
So the acceptable region for, um, sorry, the region of R, which would mean we accepted the uh, null hypothesis, would be R being less than or less than or equal to 0 0.6215. <clears throat> we're comparing the positive value okay the modulus forces it to be positive um, test statistic so for us that is eight not point eight five four which is greater than R <coughs> the critical value, sorry. Therefore, reject the null hypothesis. So, there is evidence to suggest that there is a relationship between wine consumption and divorce rate. More than a relationship, there's a negative relationship. As one increases, the other decreases, according to the date that he provided. Part 2. <clears throat> Charlotte claims that Michael is indulging in pseudo-statistics. What arguments could she use to support this point of view? Well, as we'll see uh, when we look at some of the graphs following this question, um, what they're looking for you here is for you to say the correlation does not imply causation. Okay, and I'll explain a bit more about that in a minute. So correlation does not imply causation. What it's saying is that there may be other variables at play that are causing the wine consumption related to that variable and that variable and the divorce rate. It just happens to be that what he is, um, the data he is using does have that uh, correlation between it, quite a strong correlation, but that doesn't guarantee that um, there's a specific link between the two. And when you look at the graphs um, over the next couple of pages, uh, that backs that up. <clears throat>